Don't linger. The fuck? Hello there. Spaghetti. Ah, ravioli. Ah, mamma mia. Hey guys, it's Dapper Raptor. Back at it again with some How to Hunt content. I was gone for like three weeks, but I'm back. And in this episode of How to Hunt, we're hunting the cunning usurper, Great Baggy. Let's begin. Shall we? <laughs> Great Baggy is a bird wyvern found in the Frost Islands, and exclusively in the Frost Islands. Great Baggy is also actually one of the first challenging monsters you're going to face in the game. So get your big boy pants on ready, we're leaving the kiddie pool, and we're heading with the big monsters. To start off, let's look at the attacks. Great Baggy has a few attacks he likes to use in combat. The Spit, the Baby Bite, and the almighty hip check. Kinda like Great Azuchi, Great Baggy has potential to be dangerous in conjunction with the fact that he has a pack that he likes to use as a weapon. His attacks, again, are pretty simple, but they can be very effective if in the wrong place at the wrong time. Speaking of the Baggy, let's get onto them. Similar to Great Azuchi, Great Baggy uses his pack as a volatile weapon. However, unlike Izuchi, Great Baggy has more to use. Great Azuchi only has two pack members, while Great Baggy has over four, especially in Area 9, where he can call in about five. Take out the small ones almost immediately. You do not want Great Baggy to have more on his side, otherwise the fight will drag out and you're probably going to die at least once. However, the Baggy's downside isn't the fact that there's more of them, it's the fact that they're not coordinated. You can take advantage of this mid-combat and take out the Baggy with ease. If they can't take you out, then you're going to be taking them out real fast. However, to take them out fast, we need to look at their weaknesses. Great Baggy has an interesting spreadsheet to say the least. He has, like, no apparent weaknesses. What the hell? He's, he's not even weak to poison. Jesus Christ. We've walked on interesting territory now, boys. He's not weak to poison. He's also not weak to stun, water, thunder, or ice. Remember, kids, don't do ice. It's a bad drug. If you want to do some good damage, there's fire plant. That exists. You also have Paralysis, Blast, and Exhaust, and, and if you thought sleep was going to work on a sleep monster... <laughs> you can essentially attack Great Baggy wherever you want. Just, uh... If you are a Hammer main, rejoice, because this thing doesn't like getting a concussion. And we all know that getting a concussion... isn't fun! Unless you're the one giving it, then it is kind of fun. Also, the only breakable part on the body is the head. Break, break that weird crest thing on his head. He, he kind of likes having that. Well, 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 we don't, but he, he does. Remember, Great Baggy's speed attack does put you to sleep every time you get hit by it, regardless of your sleep resistance. From what I can tell, if you build up to level 3 in sleep resistance, you can resist it in full. But just keep away from Great Baggy, he has the strongest poison attacks of any monster in the game. Also, remember the smaller Baggy have the exact same tonic ability as their leader. It's not as potent, but it can still put you to sleep if hit enough. So just don't get hit by the smaller baggy sleep too. They can take you out as well. 
This is more reason to take out the smaller Maggie, as well as the big boy himself. And finally, uh, one thing about Great Baggy people seem to forget is that Great Baggy can die very easily. I'm dead! Ah! Great Baggy can be dangerous, yes, but he has like no health, so killing him doesn't take very long. Yeah. That's kind of it for the video. Final verdict? Stay away from me, Blur. Next time, uh, we're hunting... Big, big chungus. Big, big chungus, big chungus. I unironically made a big chungus joke. And I hate everything, you know? Okay, well, come back next time. When is next time? I don't know. But, come back next time.